That one looks good. Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today, we're building the sawmill shed. You can see, here's Robert. He's helping me. He's my framing guy. He knows all about this stuff. And we're drilling these holes. You can see that one is about 48 inches deep, which in this area, that's what you need. We got another one over here, 48 inches deep. And then we got one down there. It's also 48 inches deep. So what's going to happen is, here, I'll go down here and show you guys. Those are, it's 12 foot from the posts to the barn. So we're going to put a beam across here, this 12 by 12 inch beam down there. That's going to go straight across here on three posts. The posts are going to be two six by sixes screwed together. The beam will go across and then trusses will go up to the building to, to right about the bottom of the window there. So it's going to slope out and then on the edge here, we're going to come down this way. So it should be interesting. I'll probably use a lot of uh, speeded up footage as we're doing this, but the holes are drilled. I'm going to go take the drill back. Robert's going to pack the bottom of the hole. And we'll be back. One that's up. One, one. I want it to go up more because it's too low here. A little bit more. That's true. It's not a big picture heavy. All right, ready? Go. Good. That's one post. Yeah. 
pull the bottom up here. Okay, that be a lot better. Right there is the pump. Now that's about hitting the string. That's okay, as close as we're going to get. Right about this one. Right there is the pump. Right, so i got to nudge that about a half inch in. Are we putting dirt in there? Yep. Okay. on the top of that post where you can pick it up and bring it straight down. I can do it with then this. you can move it. I can grab the strap with this. This will go up higher. Yeah, and then we can move it however we want to set it right down easy.
Perhaps if I backed up more you could see better. <laughs> Those are perfect. All right, here's the posts. Here's the beams that have to go on top of them. We're quitting for the day because it's, you know, 200 degrees outside. But those will look good sitting up on top of the posts. The posts have to be cut off. They're too tall. I bought 16 footers. I only needed 14 footers. So we're going to be cutting about two foot off the top of those posts and then setting these big beams up there. <laughs> That's tomorrow. See you then. Get in there because it's corner, yeah. No good. I'll get in one. gonna get this straight. I'll show you. Watch. Okay. I think up here where we planed it, we're able to get it with the planer. It looks pretty decent. See how that lines up? Yep. Then see how this sticks out right in here? That's where we couldn't. I might be able to touch that with the saw, with the chainsaw. Yeah, this side is like from, from this line kind of down. Right. Right here. What about over here? Still on? No, that's, that's decent, but we got this little belly. Well, we kind of chewed it out. A little bit in there. Still that little belly up in here.
think that's pretty close. Check it out. Where? It's got some lines on it, but. Nope. <laughs> nice. Not close. Professionals. <laughs> Wish we had some. <laughs> <laughs> Cut along the dotted line. Yep. Well, I'm above your line. Your line is crooked. Hey. I don't know. I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. Looking good or not? You'll have to check it. Oh, my shadow's in the way. <laughs> we'll really finish it off if we could take the chainsaw and cut up and down. No, I think that's good. That would like really... I think that's fine the way it is. That's strong. We'll get some screws in there. That would really make it tight together, man. That will really look professional. Listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're at 10 foot 9. Okay. Not here. There we are, 10 foot 8. Wait, 10 foot 9? 10 foot 9 or 10 foot 8 in there. 10 foot 9 to the top of the beam. Um. <laughs> We're 9 foot 9? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought, yeah, I had a bigger slope than I thought. There's a guy 10 feet up in the air with a saw. <laughs>
was like a scoop. Pop it down. Sweet. You can see the line. The line right there is where we got to cut it off. The beam is going to sit right on top. So we got two cut, going for the third. in case it moves because we're going to have to knock this side over a little. Alright, we got two of these up. This one's anchored in the house. Or in the barn, rather. Now there's some. It goes in the wall, about four inches. Anchor bolted. And then out here. It's not the most perfect fit, but it's a barn. It's a barn fit. And then this beam goes all the way down to here, and now we're doing this post, and then we're putting that beam up on it. And the second beam is in. we got to hit it a little bit still and bolt it in. But it's there. Looks better from this side. There goes Robert up the ladder again. You can see here, this joint didn't come out perfect, but it's not bad. It does the zigzag, we got bolts in it. Down there, we got the piece going across. So, we're squared in. And it is square, within an eighth of an inch. Maybe a quarter. Well, maybe a half. Are you wedging that? <laughs> ah. He put a little wedge in it. Yeah. Now we're flush. All right. All right. 